from New York City, Comedy Central presents Dimitri Martin. Thanks. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's so nice of you guys. Um, it's great to be here. I'm so excited to be doing a special, my first special. Um, it's a great year. I mean, I've had such an exciting year. I had a great Christmas this year. I set a personal record on Christmas. I got my shopping done three weeks ahead of time. Yeah. I had all the presents back in my apartment. I was halfway through wrapping them, and I realized, damn, I used the wrong wrapping paper. The paper I used said, happy birthday. I didn't want to waste it, so I just wrote Jesus on it. A drunk driver is very dangerous. Everybody knows that. But so is a drunk backseat driver if he's persuasive. <laughs> Dude, make a left. Those are trees. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> to me, swimming is a confusing sport. Because sometimes you do it for fun, but then other times you do it to not die. And when I'm swimming, sometimes I don't know which one it is. I gotta go by the outfit. Pants. Uh-oh. Bathing suit. Okay. Naked. We'll see. Should I be swimming faster? Or am I getting laid? I like parties, but I don't like pinatas. Because the piñata promotes violence against flamboyant animals. <laughs> hey, there's a donkey with some pizzazz. <laughs> Let's kick his ass. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is don't make the same Halloween costume mistake that I did. I was making pancakes the other day, and a fly flew into the kitchen. And that's when I realized that a spatula is a lot like a fly swatter. And a crushed fly is a lot like a blueberry. And a roommate is a lot like a fly eater. I think it's interesting that cologne rhymes with alone. If I have to move up in a building, I choose the elevator over the escalator. Because one time I was riding the escalator and I tripped. I fell down the stairs for an hour and a half. <laughs> Just kept falling. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. I think employee of the month is a good example of when a person can be a winner and a loser at the same time. <laughs> I like sports. I like professional football. I like to go, yeah. Wow. I like to get to the stadium. I like to get to the stadium to see the games live, you know? And I paint my chest before I leave the house. But I don't have that many friends, you know, so I usually just do punctuation and like tack on a group already in progress. But sometimes, like, but sometimes it works out kind of weird, because we, we ended up on TV one time, and it said, uh, Jets? <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I like telling jokes. I like writing jokes and telling jokes. But sometimes, when I do jokes, they don't work the way I intended. They don't work as well as I wanted them to. And uh, it's frustrating, you know, but I hate to give up on a joke. So I wanted to try something tonight. Um, these are some of my jokes that didn't work the first time around. But um, I think it's because I didn't convey the picture that was in my head, the visual that I was trying to communicate to the audience. But I think with these uh, material enhancers, they might work. So let's see. So let's begin. Material enhancers starts now. I was at a party the other night. And, 
uh, I was at a party the other night and I saw a guy wearing a leather jacket. And I thought, that is cool. <laughs> like 10 minutes later, I saw a guy wearing a leather vest. And I thought, that is not cool. <laughs> and that's when I realized that cool is all about leather sleeves. About a month ago, I got a cactus. And a week later, it died. And I got really depressed, because I was like, damn, I am less nurturing than a desert. A lot of people like lollipops. I don't like lollipops. Because to me, a lollipop is hard candy plus garbage. <laughs> I don't need a handle. Just give me the candy. <laughs> if you want to make an imaginary animal, if you want to make a mythical creature, just take a regular animal and add wings to it. <laughs> Horse becomes Pegasus. A lion becomes a griffin and a hawk becomes a double hawk. <laughs> I'm into clothes. I dig fabrics, you know. One of my favorite clothing patterns is camouflage. Because when you're in the woods, it makes you blend in. But when you're not, it does just the opposite. It's like, hey, there's an asshole. <laughs> but when you're in the woods, you're like, is there an asshole out here? <laughs> they look like trees. I can't, uh, some of these jokes I feel like I can't really do in this setting. They would work better in a comedy club. So I just want to try just a few of them. I think, I think that when you get dressed in the morning, sometimes you're really making a decision about your behavior for the day. Like if you put on flip-flops, you're saying, hope I don't get chased today. <laughs> Be nice to people in sneakers. Whenever I try to spell banana, it makes me feel stupid. Because I don't know when to end it. I'm like, how many nas are on this thing? Banna. Keep going. Bananana, damn. <laughs> a lot of people don't like bumper stickers. I don't mind bumper stickers. To me, a bumper sticker is a shortcut. It's like a little sign that says, hey, let's never hang out. <laughs> let's get back to my drawing. Okay, back to this show. I like fruit baskets. Because a fruit basket enables you to mail somebody fruit without appearing insane. <laughs> if you just mail somebody some apples, they're like, what the hell is this? But if you put those apples in a basket, they're like, this is nice. My favorite fruit is grapes. Yeah, grapes. Because with grapes, you always get another chance. You know, like, if you have a crappy apple or a peach, you're stuck with that crappy piece of fruit. But if you have a crappy grape, no problem. Just move on to the next. Grapes, the fruit of hope. You always hear about the guy who was raised by wolves. But you never hear about the next generation. The guy who was raised by the guy who was raised by wolves. 
That's probably even harder. You have a non-wolf giving wolf teachings. <laughs> Dad, stop sniffing my ass. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the bus. <laughs> I use this product called, I can't believe it's not butter. Because sometimes when I'm having toast, I like to be incredulous. <laughs> How was breakfast? Unbelievable. Sometimes uh, I have jokes that I want to tell, but I don't feel like they have the right environment. I, I don't want to say I write sophisticated material, but I feel like there's something artsy about some of my jokes, um, kind of upper crusty, maybe. And, um, you know, silence doesn't do them justice. I think they need the right atmosphere, so I just wanted to try to tell some of those jokes with that atmosphere, with a little bit of music I uh, put together for tonight. So let's see if this works. Start here. And, uh,. Good luck. Whenever I investigate a smell, I find that the answer is always bad. It's never, what is that? Muffins. I got some new pajamas with uh, pockets in them. Which is great, because before that, I used to have to hold stuff when I slept. But now I'm like, where's my planner? There it is. Keep sleeping. All right, cool. Perfect. I like Frisbees. A Frisbee is the only object you can throw at a stranger and hit him with it, and it's okay. I keep a lighter in my back pocket all the time. I'm not a smoker. I just really like certain songs. My plumbing is all screwed up. Because it turns out, I do not own a garbage disposal. I wonder what the most intelligent thing ever said was that started with the word dude. Dude, these are isotopes. Dude, we removed your kidney. You're gonna be fine. Dude, I am so stoked to win this Nobel Prize. Um, I just wanna thank Kevin and Turtle and uh, all my homies. I wanna make a jigsaw puzzle that's 40,000 pieces. And when you finish it, it says, go outside. I noticed that there are no B batteries. I think that's to avoid confusion. Because if there were, you wouldn't know when someone was stuttering. Can I help you? Yes, I would like some B batteries. What kind? The batteries. What kind? But batteries. And D batteries, that's hard for foreigners. Yes, I would like D batteries. One of my friends has a stutter, and a lot of people think that's a bad thing, but to me, that's just like starting certain words with a drum roll. That's not an impediment, that's suspense. What's he gonna say, car? Or carnival? Carburetor? Sort of is such a harmless thing to say, sort of. It's just a filler, sort of. It doesn't really mean anything. But after certain things, sort of means everything. Like after, I love you. <laughs> or, you're going to live. You know, um, 
Sometimes after shows, people ask me, how do I come up with my jokes? Where do I get my material from? And uh, that's a hard question to answer. You know, it's a process. Um, I don't know, but I thought about it, and I wanted to try to answer that question tonight the best I could. So uh, here's my attempt. So uh, here we go. You see, my jokes come from a magical place. It's located in my head. A forest full of creatures. Many of them created at my last temp job. The forest started to grow, and as a child, I discovered that I suck at sports. Welcome to the place where my jokes come from. It's a magical shire in my subconscious. There are many creatures who are very helpful. There is a dragon who is very encouraging. He flies around and tells me to keep trying, even if I'm not that funny. And there are other characters who actually give me my jokes, like a wizard who, much like me, dropped out of law school and in high school did not get laid. When you have a fat friend, when you have a fat friend, there are no seesaws. Only catapults. There is also a beast, a beast of strange dimensions. He has the head of a horse and the, the body of a man who needs a lot of attention. He represents me in college. I was a dorkator. I was in a card store and they had cards that said, get well soon. F that. Get well now. This is the place where my jokes come from. Where my futures are. Nestled in a very special little corner of the forest is a delicate fairy who brings me the most beautiful, gentle jokes. <laughs> and dances with a grace. It just says Dimitri sucks. He is a fairy. Deep, deep in the forest, deep in the, the darkness of the woods, there are two creatures who roam who I know very well, my mom and my grandma. <laughs> Welcome to the forest. And now that you guys are here, I just wanted to say, uh, look, you know, I dropped out of school, and uh, I'm not going back. I'm, a, I'm not going to be a lawyer. I'm a professional comedian. You know, I'm following my heart. This, this is my dream. And uh, you know, also, I was just wondering if uh, I could borrow 20 bucks just so I could get home after the show. Thanks. This is the place where my jokes come from. Thank you for coming to where my jokes come from. Have a great night. Thanks, everybody.